I did contribute. And one time I came up with my best one page proposal. You know, if you, you can put it on one page, people will read it. So I had a one, you try to keep everything on one page, a resume, keep it on one page. Don't do two pages and don't lie. God. Oh. <sighs> people who lie on resumes, you can see it. It's just sticking right out at you. You know, when you read, you read so many, you know who's lying. Anyway, I wrote this one page and it was incredible. And I told Grace Mirabella, who was at Vogue magazine at the time, and it's the 80s, and I said, Grace, you need a column for black women. What the black uh, mm, beauty from a black woman's point of view. She said, sold. <laughs> Just like that, she bought it. She didn't even show it to any of her higher up. She says, I love it. And within, I think within a week, when she told that to the sales department, they sold that page. They sold that page, and that's all they want to do. They, my column was here, and that ad was there. Boom, it, it more than paid for itself. So when she saw that, she knew that she, she must have known she had somebody out there. And so that, and I'll never forget my very first column. Oh, that was, that was in the 90s. Wow, really, 90s? No, 80s, I'm sorry because I scooped everybody. I had done this, this article, my very first article, I had Miss America 1984, and that was Vanessa Williams. I did the story, and you won't believe it, that Vogue magazine came out in September, just like a two days before she became Miss America, because I got excited because she became Miss New York. So I got very excited, and so I did this whole column on her. And I scooped everybody before the newspapers got her. I had her. So that was my first column. So it was beauty from a black woman's point of view. It was Vanessa Williams. So we're still good friends to this day. I know all her children, her mom. I knew her dad. You know, you get to meet fabulous people in this world when you have those kind of jobs. So I did that. And I was a contributing editor for Mirabella when Grace no longer worked at... Um, Vogue, then she went to Mirabelle. I did that for a little while. And then I did another magazine. I think it was um, a magazine for big women. I forgot, Mode. Maybe it was Mode magazine. I did something for a magazine for big women. And, you know, I put my two cents here and there. A lot of uh, writers like to call and quote me. You know, that I get quoted in the, in the Wall Street Journal and the Times. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. But I don't think of myself as a writer, no. But anyway, a contributing something. <laughs> yes.